Hey, what's going on, guys? It's on your rings. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to put reshade on your uh, Player Unknowns Battlegrounds game. This will work for like any game, I do believe, but I'm going to be showing you how to do it for PUBG today. So, uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, I will warn you that it will lower your frame rate depending on which reshades you use. Some are more severe than others, so you can just play around with them, test them out, and see what you want to use. I'm going to be using four specific ones today, but you guys can choose any that you want. So. To start off, you want to go to reshade.me. I'll put it in the description of the video, but it's simple, just reshade.me. You can click the big download button up here, but it's just going to take you down here. So just scroll down, click this one, it'll download, wait for it to download. <coughs> click it to open it, click select game. You're going to want to go to this PC, um, local disk C, or whatever drive you have your Steam folder on. If you, if you have multiple drives like me, it'll be whatever. Uh, wherever your Steam drive is. For most people, if you've only got one drive, for most people, it's going to be Program Files x86, Steam folder, Common, or Steam apps, Common, blah, 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 blah. Um, but for me, it's going to be my Steam library, Steam apps, uh, Common, PUBG. <clears throat> and then you want to go into TSL game, binaries, Windows 64, and click this once don't double click it you're obviously going to open the game click it once and then click ok that uh, that sets it to um, PUBG and then let it uh, do this oh wait never mind uh, click the direct 3d 10 plus click yes let it download and then here are all the <clears throat> effects you can choose from now I would highly not recommend you getting all of them obviously because some you might not want some will cause the game to look like crap um, and obviously if you have them all on it's going to make it look like even more crap but what you can do is add them all to it and then once we get into the game and we start messing around with them and installing them you can toggle them on and off from within the game and see which ones you do and don't like but for now I'm just going to use four simple ones that I recommend so uncheck all the ones I'm going to use are adaptive sharpen it's going to sharpen the game and make it look better clarity will make the game look more clear and uh, just easier to see things. Colorfulness will add some color to the game and also Technicolor 2 will also add some more color to the game. So when you're done just choosing what you want, click OK. It'll be done and then you want to close out and launch your game. Now I'm not going to edit this out because I don't feel like taking this video into Sony Vegas just to clip out one little thing. So just bear with me. It's going to take a minute to launch the game. Even when it's on an SSD, <clears throat> this game is like really super laggy. Um, if you're one of my regulars, I'll use this time while I'm waiting for the game to launch to mention uh, that I will be streaming a lot more coming soon. I'm getting a new processor today, 6, 7, 17, it's 2 a.m. right now. I'm getting a new processor today thanks to Heroic ASF. I'll link him in the, in the description. Check out his mixer and his YouTube and his Twitter and all that. Give him some love for sending me a new processor. It's a $280 processor and he gave it to me for free. All I have to do is pay back the $15 shipping, which is pretty freaking awesome. Um, <clears throat> so I'll be streaming a lot more and I really, really appreciate him doing that for me. Uh, I'll be making a lot of content. Alright, so here we are at the, at the main menu and you can see it looks, it looks disgusting. I mean, this game's gross. It has like no color to it. It's all gray and boring. Um, so what you want to do is press Shift and F2. And <clears throat> this is what you'll see for the first thing. Just click Continue. Don't even read it. All right, now you want to give it a preset name. So click the plus button. Type in preset. Preset 1. That's all you need to do. You don't even need to do anything. Press Enter. All right. And then now here is where you, you toggle the 1. So if you decided to go for the route where you're putting all of them and you're just going to check and see which ones you want, then just toggle them on and off until you see which ones you want. So here's Sharpen. You can see it, everything's kind of like blurry in the background, but then when you toggle it on, everything's sharper, easier to see. Clarity makes it even better. Colorfulness adds some color to the game, and Technicolor 2 adds even more color to the game. Look at that. That's like a night and day difference. I mean, if you're colorblind or you just have bad eyes, you might not notice it, but a normal person will definitely notice the improved color. And then here's where you can set toggle keys. I'm just going to set mine to this button for now. That is also my MSI Afterburner uh, on screen display key. So I apologize for it popping up over and over again. Um, <clears throat> but I've got that set now. They're all on. But you, if you, if this is a toggle key if you want to set it. You don't have to. But if you want to be able to turn them on and off. Like say it starts making you lag. And you want to turn them off quickly. You can just press the key. Um, 
So just click continue <clears throat> and you don't really need to do any of this but if you want to you can mess with the levels of each of these I don't but if you want to by all means go ahead you can just basically turn up the levels of them again I'm not going to but you can and then click finish and you're pretty much done now one last thing I want to show you guys to help you out is if you go to settings here and you click show FPS you'll get a little cool FPS counter up here with a, a ping counter as well showing you what your FPS is and what your ping is that's you pretty useful for uh, finding out what your FPS is and also good for showing how much FPS you're gonna lose approximately when you turn these things on and off now obviously this is the lobby in games gonna be different but it'll at least give you an approximate of how much FPS you'll lose so here let me turn mine off I go up to 109 turn them on I go down to 86 of course like I said again that's in the lobby it's gonna be different in the game you can choose any of these resages that you want. I choose these because I like these. They don't make me lag that much. I enjoy how they look. And uh, it's as simple as that. But you can choose whatever you want. You can add fog. You can add all sorts of things. And it's just really cool. Um, the, <clears throat> the sharpen and the clarity are the two most laggy. You'll notice I just went up to 103. But look at that difference. Look how much blurrier everything is sharpens like a night and day difference in my opinion i can't go without it i love it um another thing you can do if you want to sharpen the game this has nothing to do with reshade but if you want to sharpen the game a little bit just lower your anti-aliasing it's going to make things look very jagged edged you're going to see like these little pixelated squares but it'll make the game a little bit sharper and it'll make it easier to see things because anti-aliasing has a bad habit of kind of rounding edges that's that's exactly what it does it rounds edges and stuff but that can also make things blurry if you have too much anti-aliasing I just have mine on high because I can't stand jagged edges and ultra is a little bit too laggy so I keep mine on high um, these are actually the settings I run with here effects and foliage and post-processing are all on very low because effects that's like grenades gunshots smoke that's very laggy that's why i always turn it down view distance i keep high so i can see people far away textures i keep high because the low textures let's be honest that looks like absolute garbage i'm not i'm not going to use that shadows i keep low because you know i don't really need um high shadows it just it makes it harder to see people in the shadows and it's just too laggy and i don't want the unneeded lag so yeah, this is, those are the settings I use, and that's how you install Reshade, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, <clears throat> if you need any help, just comment down below and tell me what you're struggling with. Um, it's a pretty simple installation, so if you have any problems, I'm not really sure how to fix them, because I've never had any problems. Um, but if you do have problems, let me know what they are, and I'll try to help you if I can. Anyway, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on my next video or live stream. Peace.